the export function in DaVinci partially exports the contents of the active composition as a network node for insertion in DaVinci Fusion. Text layers are exported without animators and interletter and interline distance properties. Shapes are exported when properly organized in groups and if they have been converted into non-E paths. Masks on layers, salting the layers, layer correction effects such as transform, offset, corner, pin and gauss, blur, as well as all transform layer properties, including animation and animation when linked to the control layer. The condition for exporting is that the export layers are in the active composition. If it is text or font, they will be located in the filler. Only the properties and animation of the composition layer will be exported. But no, it's content. In this case, I have all the shapes. And in this video, I won't be talking about the safe and about this example. I won't be talking about the safe and about this example either. And the text layers are in one composition, not nested in any additional fillers. We can press the active comp button and I receive a notification that the export is complete. Going into DaVinci Infusion, we can take advantage of by pasting or using a hotkey for pasting. And we'll insert a network of nodes which will correspond what we have in After Effects with the exception they are text layers as two parameters are not transferred to them. Tracking and line spacing, they need to be additionally configured in some cases sometimes needed to link nodes to each other if, if the connection is lost they are inserted one after the other and tied to each other. Additionally, you can include voice when exporting color control and then uh, when we export the active composition, we could transfer the color controllers, but before that, controllers need to be exported. Control layer with colors, here I have it, we highlight it and press control. Receiving notifications, we insert it into DaVinci. We see that it has colors on it, which are on the control layer. And after that, uh, with the color control checkbox turned on, we're already exporting nodes. And after that, by changing the colors on the control layer, we can control it. As usual, we do it in the same color. In After Effects, everything will be ready. It's linked. Thus, by exporting macros, you can simply select the control layer and all controllers on it, which simplifies the creation of markers. And now we'll open the same composition, but now it will have animation export. We will also implement this. Let's take a look at the organization of shape groups. In the shape, if there are multiple elements or one, it doesn't matter. It's necessary for these elements to be in a group. That is, properties such as stroke, fill should be located in the group where the control panel is. The path of the shape, otherwise the parameters will not be defined. Here we have animation path using trim path and they are read in the group. If it is outside the group, there will be no animation. It's defined. We export this composition with animation. Wait uh, a little longer as all layers and animation on them are being processed. We receive a notification of success and insert nodes into DaVinci. G turn it on and we see that uh, we have animation. It works. Everything is like in IE, it rotates, enlarges, trim path is drawn on shapes, 